Uh, so this is my vlog. I've just arrived to uh, about the place where Star Wars Galaxy Edge is. I'm not sure if this is another park or something, but this looks like Galaxy Edge right there. And I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna vlog from there. So yes, I'm in Los Angeles. I'm going to Galaxy's Edge, the greatest Star Wars park, the only Star Wars park I've been to, unfortunately, but here I am, so let's see. So, here we are coming to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, here is the posters for the park. So, we are now on the... So, I'm... So I am not... Spanish. So... So I am now on the... So... Please stay seated until the next stop and inform the nearest cast member. So, so Good morning, I, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Disneyland Resort. For your enjoyment today, Disneyland Park will remain open until midnight. Disney California Adventures will remain open until 10 p.m. And our trams will be in service until one hour after the latest park closing time. So I am... So... Driver, you are clear. So I am now on a train deploying to about the Star Wars Galaxy. We are Galaxies. now en route to the Disneyland Resort main entrance plaza, gateway to Disneyland Park, Disney California Adventure Park, and the downtown Disney District. And also Star Wars Galaxy. Edge. Just for the day, our one day park hopper ticket off. So I am now walking towards the place where we can buy tickets for Star Wars Galaxy Edge because we didn't buy electronic tickets. So now we need to buy actual ones. Hopefully we will be able to enter the park, otherwise my Star Wars dreams will be crushed, but I think we will. So I am now arrived in the Galaxy Edge Park. This, this thing was constructed by Doug Chang, the guy who constructed General... who designed the concept of General Grievous for the prequel movies. And this is organized at the planet Batu, which appears in front of... Oh, droids! Droids! Oh, there's a gong droid. Love gong droid. Gong, gong. This looks like an R5 unit, another R5 unit. Hello, uh, yes. This looks like something from episode 7, and this looks like something from episode 4. Oh, you make sounds. That's good. Oh, you move as well. That's cool. Okay, what else do we have here? Now let's go find if there are stormtroopers and ask them some questions about their first order leader. Oh, this is the thing, the thing. What's, what's the name? The moisture farm thing that they use there, like on Tatooine. Let's see what this one is made from. This one is actually made from something resembling metal and not wood, like on the set of the films. Okay. Mom, давай сюда пойдем. Я не знаю. Okay, I don't know what this is, but let's go inside. Не, давай пойдем. Oh, это дроидовый мотор. Is that where the droids are assembled? That's cool, so cool. The droid shop. Oh, that's so cool. I'll use this for my Star Wars movie. The guys who constructed this park, uh, this park are scammers. I mean, I know this should be understandable, authorized personnel only. But you either write it as normal letters or you write it as actual Orabesh. You don't write it as normal red letters in the style of Orabesh. That's that's just not how it works. Here are the parts for the droids. I don't know what's happening. 
I don't know if we get these kind of big droids or if we get these kind of... I don't know. All the droids we see here are so big. Oh my god. Okay, so here are the droids that you can assemble. Different droids. These are just some design variants. And, each, and to assemble your own droid will cost a hundred dollars. Which is unfortunately why I can't buy one to my friend that's too expensive. But I will buy a Jabba the Hutt toy for him. So I think he'll be... Oh, look. This looks like something very interesting. Here are the parts that you can use in a bigger variant. And uh, yes. Then these are also here. Uh, the R5 and R2 units. These are the BB units. These are the legs, these are the different body types that you can use, and here are the head types. Okay, so I am now assembling my droid. I chose a BB unit. I will uh, have this purple head. Um, then I will also have... A... Okay, I'll choose a black uh, body. Black body. Um, then I also choose another... So I chose my droid and hopefully it will be as good if not better than the ones that are showcased here. And the ones that are showcased here are very good. Oh! A B1 battle droid! Awesome! Oh! A port suitcase! That's so cool! Man, the video done for Okay, so now we will assemble them together. I've assembled my droid. Uh, and now all I need is to activate him and he'll be... Oh, my, this girl has a similar droid to mine, but I have a more interesting design, I'd say. <laughs> Not being offensive. Okay, so I've built my BB... BB3 unit. And he is fully ready to move and rumble. Uh, so now let's go to another place. Let's look what else we have on this Batu planet. Oh, something interesting. Let's see what it is here. Well, nothing truly interesting. Just speeder vehicles. Mm, not that interesting. Let's go to another place. Let's find something better. Let's go here. I don't know what it is here maybe some bar or something like that but i'm ready to visit this place yeah it looks like a bar all right look at this place it looks like exactly like star wars it reminds me of jedi city a lot but i mean i don't know what it truly is look at those things those look like this is the baby shock okay they have drinks here and so on. Sorry! This is the menu. Luna Turkey Jerky, Ronto Wrap, Ronto Morning Wrap, Rising Moon's Overnight Oats, and Tatooine Sunset, Myluran Juice, and Sour Sarlacc. Troy, they're torturing you. They're making you cook those shocks and those forks and those gonkers or whatever they are. Hey droid, did you ever serve in Jabba's palace? <laughs> or did you serve Cat Bane maybe? Oh, my mother is buying me drinks in the cantina. I'd like to just take a moment of describing how cool everything looks in this land. As a huge Star Wars fan, I'm very proud of how the guys designed it. Look, this looks like something Jedi. -y. Just look at this. Oh, and this looks like Jocasta Nu or something like that. This could be a very good shot for some of my films. Look at this. This looks incredible, like Batu actually. Orobesh, here they have cauldrons, here they have Jocasta Nu, or maybe some librarian. I don't know who that is. Okay, let's see what they have here. Just gonna enter it. If there's something selling them, they, if, they're, if they're selling something here, I'll buy it later. Hey! Oh, this is the Jedi ropes and these are the free drinks. This is the Myluran juice. Myluran is a fruit from Star Wars Rebel, and here they made juice out of it. Here is the star like something. And here is the Tatooine Sunset. Or maybe this is the Sarlacc and this is the Tatooine Sunset. I don't remember the name of these cocktails. 
And here we have a good view of the planet Batu. Here's my father and uh, the drinks. So now I'm gonna rank the things. First of all, the, the Melorin fruit, uh, the Melorin uh, juice was very tasty. It's a definite eight out of ten. This, I think, this is the Sarlax. This is the Sarlax something. It's not very good, to be honest. And now about um, this Tatooine sunset, it's okay, like six out of ten. Other people are drinking the Mylurin juice as well here and somewhere here there were stormtroopers walking but I didn't have time to film them. Here we're in the shop and this is the Sarlacc which is moving and you can go down down and it shows exactly how his body looked like and I never knew that he looked like this on the uh, beneath. Now this is a uh, Yoda's walking cane which I'm buying. And also I want to buy this, this collection, but my father is not allowed. Okay, so this looks like the foreign shop owner. Look at him. Look at this guy. Hello! How are you? The foreign shop owner. This is my favorite shop so far. This isn't on sale, but it's a very cool long cat from Rebels. Here we also have Wampus, toy Wampus. Very good toy Wampus. Who works? So cute. Then we have Banthas. Love Banthas. Incredible animals. They produce blue milk, which we can drink. Here we have this frog, which I'm intending to buy, though I don't know if I'll be allowed. This one is not on sale, but it's good because it actually moves and it shines. It's incredible. This one is from episode 7. It's a Rathdar, and they're very good. And somewhere here we also had Dewbacks. Dewbacks being sold. And uh, tauntauns, of course, tauntauns, and also puffer pigs. Puffer pigs are incredible animals. Like, look at them. Look at the pure design, and look at the sound they make. This is incredible. This is astonishing. Oh, look at this. Mock and Salacious Bee Crumb, incredible Kawaki and Monkey Lizard. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. They look like they're on wires, so they're moving, that's good. <laughs> Whatever sounds they make. Okay. Okay, so I bought my Kawaki and Monkey Lizard, and I'm now heading towards the only attraction in the park, uh, the Millennium Falcon ride and I'm very excited and I'm in the line which lasts 95 minutes that's just like whoa are you surprised yes I'm surprised too this is like 95 minutes this entire line and I have to wait for it to get to the only ride in the park but it's gonna be worthwhile hopefully ah! Not worthwhile! Not worthwhile! Come on, shut up. It's gonna be good. Uh, so yeah, I'm heading there now in the slide. I am Hondo Onaka, and this is Osaka Transport Solutions. Today, I am offering the opportunity of a lifetime. I need flight crews to transport this valuable merchandise across the galaxy. Pilots to navigate, engineers to operate the ship, and gunners to defend the shipments. And that is where you come in. Oh, oh, the Millennium Falcon. On oh, loan for some very fast and very profitable expeditions. You got your my for the friend. Yes, yes. As we agree, you let us use the ship. We'll get you to survive. We're here on the Millennium Falcon, and I love how Doc Chang constructed it. It's exactly how it was in the movies. Just look at this cockpit. It's done incredibly. Oh, this is where you sit and look at the jarry. I mean, like, seriously, take a seat. I'm interested in whether this actually has the hollow chest. No, it's just a decoration. It doesn't work. But overall, I love how they build it. I mean, 
you could film an entire movie inside just this cockpit. So we are about to enter this whole thing and uh, me and my mother are the pilots and my father is the gunner. So the gun ready? and the rest. Okay. All the way down to the very end of the hallway. Hi, you're gonna be down the hallway. Yeah. Okay. It looks so much like the actual movies. Oh my god. No, it's true. I could have done a that You will be intercepting a first order train shipment of coaxia. Gunners, you clear the path. Pilots, line up behind the train. And engineers, you harpoon that precious cargo. Then we will take off. Move your stick to fly right and left. Make a smile to the camera! <laughs> you must find that amusing. I do. I'm filming. The, Imper uh, the First Order officer. Do you like the First Order? Ah, uh, Empire is better. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you like the dark side? Ah, uh, yes! Especially Palpatine, aka Darth Sidious. Incredible character. Yes, I've heard of him. Very well written. It's a primary offense. I would watch my behavior if I would. Move now. Hello! How is Snoke doing? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Roasted! Quite peculiar behavior from these travelers. <laughs> I'm drinking blue milk. Yes, I'm here. Oh, and Kylo Ren is here again. I made fun of him. He's not gonna come to me again. very tasty and the good thing is it doesn't have actual milk in it so I can easily drink it because I don't like milk but this is this is perfect this is like so good 